Hi folks and welcome back to the WTF for another video, the Woolgar test facility where we test just about everything. Radio, electronics, gas turbine engines, jet engines, you name it, we do it. And uh, something a bit different today. This is a Sunto D3 Freediver's watch and we are going to see if it still works. It's a very old one, it's about 20 years old and we will take a closer look at it. It doesn't look like very much from over there but we'll have a quick look at it and we are going to do a bit of a field test on this uh, to see uh, whether it still works as it did when I got it 20 years ago. Anyway, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get right into it. So just give you a little bit of context and background to this <clears throat> Sunto D3 Freediver's watch. Uh, you might be asking why have I got why on earth have I got a uh, freediving watch to start with? Well, I've been um, I learned to do spearfishing and freediving almost 30 years ago. Actually, it's difficult to believe that, but uh, used to do quite a lot of it in South Africa and uh, where I used to live and uh, didn't really back then um, just as the sort of the internet was retaking off didn't really have much access to sort of uh, nice uh, diving equipment or anything like that in fact um, being a, a Spiro or free diver um, it, it's a pretty minimalistic sport uh, in general if you compare it to uh, scuba uh, anyhow uh, I got this watch about 20 years ago, so it uh, it's almost uh, what we would call as vintage, I guess, here at the WTF, because we do tend to do a lot of old stuff. And uh, back when I first started diving, I would say that there wasn't really much out there in terms of um, divers' watch watches for free divers. Um, Sunto bought this watch out probably sort of the late 90s early 2000s uh, and it was quite a nice watch because it was a watch you could wear in, in your, during your day-to-day -day activities as well as being a useful um, diving watch for, for free diving and I think Sunto was probably one of the only watch companies for, to my knowledge at least that um, sort of first you know decided to design a watch for for free diving because on the market at the time uh, the only thing you could get your hands on really if you wanted a, a watch would tell you your depth your time underwater things like that were diving watches or diving computers really designed for scuba and they were like chunky old things sort of stuck on your wrist which were a bit impractical if you wanted to just use it as a day-to-day -day watch so this was quite um was quite a nice thing that uh, Sunto release back uh, almost uh, uh, 20 years ago well, that's when I got this anyway this is sort of been sitting around and, and I have changed the batteries a couple of times on it uh, I haven't used it for a few years um, because I don't get that much opportunity as I used to to spearfish as compared to when I used to live in South Africa but having said that, that I've st I still go sort of once or twice uh, you know, or two or three times every summer around here in Wales. So, so we do get uh, some opportunity to do that. Um, but anyway, it has been sitting around. It hasn't really been tested to anything um, greater than sort of a, a couple of a couple of meters, really, I guess. Uh, so I wanted to sort of give it a bit of a, a run, see, you know, how uh, how good it is. Uh, uh, how good it is and how and basically whether it still works as it as it used to uh, I'm not going to go through this whole setup on this watch because it's it's quite a complicated one now obviously you know it's 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 a diving watch and diving watches are in general a little bit more complicated than your average uh, Casio um, G-Force or something like that um, but I'm just going to show a couple of features I mean at the moment it's just displaying the uh, the date and the time as you can see um, what's interesting though is when you select if I get the right button now 
when you select the free diving mode and this is actually activated automatically as soon as you sort of enter the water as soon as the watch gets wet it sort of it'll activate and then once you dive beyond a certain depth things about two meters or so uh, it goes into the uh, sort of free diving mode and it'll measure your current depth and your maximum depth uh, and things like that uh, so it's um you know from that point of view it's it's quite nice and the other thing it, what it does it records all your dives that you do during a day or um, during a session or, or whatever so you can see you know you know what sort of depth you've been diving to uh, if I can just get this right so you've got a log there a log book almost uh, telling you which uh, you know which dives that you've done uh, I'll see if I can get it again but don't know, back to the time anyhow but it, there are sort of manuals online which tell you exactly how to do or get into these various menus uh, but I, I've just generally used it as a means to know you know how uh, deep I've uh, you know uh, I've gone in a particular day, day and uh, it records all that sort of thing uh, there, there, there is some functionality for it to be used with scuba uh, although because I've never done scuba and never never really uh, learned to do it uh, then um, uh, there are some facilities there so it can be used with 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 scuba diving but as I said I've never really really used it for that anyhow uh, so that's the uh, that's what the d3 looks like close up and uh, as I said it's uh, it's it's been quite a trusty watch uh, for the last 20 years um, and question is uh, can we still uh, use it? I'll just um, incidentally make a point of the fact that this uh, watch obviously has a battery which needs to be changed every now and again and uh, which it has had over its lifetime and uh, one of the things I have tried to do is that when I do change the battery I try to put a new o-ring there's a if we have a look at the rear of the the watch I'll just move the strap out of the way get my fingers so you can see that there's the uh, the battery compartment and you've also got electrodes there which uh, activate the watch in, in when it's uh, when it's wet and this um, battery compartment you can easily uh, change the battery yourself uh, you don't need any special tools apart from a coin uh, and uh, and there you go battery lasts about I would say about a couple of years on average depending on how often the, obviously the watch is used anyhow so I think what we need to do is uh, we need to find some uh, clear blue warm water uh, which is re of reasonable depth and uh, give this a quick test I think so uh, let's go and do that Just 
sick, I'm feeling it. You're not the one, but I still want you like the beat in my chest. Love sick, I'm feeling it. I know you're not the one, but I still wanna light up. Breathe you like a cigarette. Love sick, I'm feeling it. You're not the one, but I still want you like the beat in my chest. Love sick, I'm feeling it. I know you're not the one, but I still wanna light up. Still want you in my body, still want you in my veins. Yeah, my life's getting caught and set me off like a flame. is about six meters deep which uh, is too bad struggling to get uh, underwater as I haven't got a weight belt with me uh, but that doesn't mean they actually come up quite quickly but the D3 is working pretty good I'll see if we can get some more underwater footage but it's typical of the bed not an awful lot out here unless you go really really deep but anyway we'll see what else we can do Well folks, we made it safe and sound back from Greece and uh, the D3 survived and I think it did pretty well actually, I was quite impressed, it seems to work just as it always has and I think uh, if these ever come up on eBay or anything like that or secondhand D3s, um, I think you can be rest assured that if it's working and it's got a reasonable battery, um, it's going to have some pretty good life left in it. So, on that note, I hope you enjoyed our little excursion, our little field trip testing out this watch, and hopefully we'll catch you again soon. Cheers for now.